Oh my goodness, this is so hot out here. I'm going to be sweating laser beams. Ah! Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing some products that can help school bus drivers who have to endure these hot temperatures without air conditioning. With temperatures ranging from 90 degrees to 100 degrees across the country, it can be really challenging to stay cool while driving. Now, one of my friends suggested that I create a video on how to stay cool in these hot boxes. So here you go. Shout out to Keith, who inspired this video. First up, let's talk about swamp coolers. Now, I came across a YouTube video by Desert Sun 2 where he demonstrates how to use a cooler to create a DIY air conditioner. First, he cut a large hole for a 12 volt fan and then a smaller port for a duct to come out to be pointing at him. By loading the cooler with ice or bottles that you can freeze at home, it can put out somewhere around 50 degree temperatures. Now, one of my colleagues at my previous uh, school district had one of these coolers and he loved it. However, it's important to note that it takes up a lot of space and it's only suitable for the school bus driver. Now, if you're not a DIYer, that's okay. You can buy them off of eBay for roughly around $100. So now we're gonna be talking about cooling seat cushions that plug into your car's power system. If you spend a lot of time driving, you know how uncomfortable it can be to sit in a hot, sweaty seat. Now, cooling seat cushions are a great way to stay cool and comfortable if you have a car with a 12 volt power outlet, you can use a cushion that plugs into your car's power system. You put this thing into your seat, you plug it into the power, the fan moves the air around your body to take the heat away from your legs all the way to your back. Normally, you would be all wet from sweat, but this helps remove the heat to give you a comfortable drive. What are cooling towels? Well, cooling towels are towels that are designed to keep you cool during hot weather or intense physical activity. They're made from special materials that absorb water and evaporate it slowly, which creates a cooling effect on your skin. Cooling towels are available in a variety of sizes and styles. Cooling towels work by using the evaporative cooling. When you wet the towel, you wring it out, you put it on your neck, the water evaporates slowly, which creates a cooling effect on your skin. The towel stays cool for several hours. Cooling towels, often made from materials like polyester, nylon, microfiber, which are designed to absorb water and evaporate it slowly. Using a cooling towel is easy. First, you wet the towel with water, you wring it out, then you place the towel on your skin or wrap it around your neck. You feel an immediate cooling effect which can help you regulate your body temperature and prevent overheating. Now, you can reactivate the towel by wetting it again, and you can use it as many times as you would like. A wearable neck air conditioner fans are a great option when you need something you know convenient to cool you down. Now, for those who don't have an air conditioner or buses, this is a simple device to wear and keep it on your neck and keep you cool. It has three metal plates that get really cold. They say up to 30 degrees. Let's test it. All right, so here's the wearable AC. Let me go ahead and turn it on here. 96 is the, the battery, how much battery left. And over here you got the uh, the cooling, over here you got the heating. So you can hit cooling, you got C1, C2, C3, C3 is the highest. And heat will also do H1, H2, and H3, and H3 is the highest. So let's, uh, I got my thermometer here. So on the bus right now, this seat is 97 degrees. I mean, it is hot out here. Um, I'm, I'm already sweating. As you can see, I got my sweat rack over there. Uh, so if I try to, let me try the temperature thing right here. You know what? I think this is infrared and it's going to reflect. Yep, I see it reflecting on my seat over here. So I'm going to have to put a piece of tape. Hold on, let me try to put a piece of tape on this. So maybe that way it, it won't reflect. Okay. So it went from being 90 something degrees to 80. I thought I saw 80, 80 degrees. It's just so hard getting this temperature probe. There's 78. So it went from being 96 to 78 degrees. 
and I can tell you these things are are cold according to the outside temperature. And what's it on C3 right now? C1, yeah, it was on C3. Then you also have the fan settings. So if you hit the power button, it turns on the fan, and it blows air out this way. So if it's cooling you through these three metal pads and blowing cold, or not it's cold air, but actually it does feel cold. Let me see. Okay, it's not really cold air. It's the same air, but I guess this air moving makes it feel colder. But yeah, there you go. Actually, these three metal discs are a lot cooler, substantially cool you down. Yeah, put it right on, right on. Ooh. Those pads, when they touch you, it's 20 degrees cooler than the air, so that really sends a little, I mean, I don't know if you see, but I got goosebumps on me, chill bumps, just from that little bit of uh, cold right there. Now me personally, I use the uh, cooling seat cushion and the wearable neck IC. Now since I'm in a bus as a 2007 model, I have no idea how many people sat in the seat before me. So I also use this um, seat cover that's also waterproof because I don't want other people sweat on me. <laughs> so I love the seat cushion and I use it every day. Now when the temperature gets above 90 degrees, I then use my neck AC. Now my kids make fun of me because it does look like a shock collar. But hey, if it keeps me not to sweat, I wear it all day. It has three uh, cool, hot, and fan settings. I don't use the fan at all because in the school bus, the windows in these fans are going. Now I use my AC2 setting on the neck AC and it will last the whole bus route. And when I get home, I plug it up and it's ready to use the next time I go out. I don't know about the whole swamp cooler thing, but I wonder if you use it with the car crouch vent extender hose it maybe it'll work with the windows down but i can see the kids asking why is this whole hose up your pants so as for cooling towels i use them on my weekly walks because i sweat so much i do see them use a lot of other buses but my seat and my neck ac helps me from sweating so much plus i have this fan that is right above my head now this is my first time ever using affiliate links so if you want to try any of these products I'll put an affiliate link in the description down below. Hey guys, it's me again. Just want to make sure you guys have a great summer. Stay safe, drink lots of water. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. You guys have a great day.